Hi, this is Mike Levine for Audio Fanzine, and in this video we're going to look at Waves NX. They call it a virtual mix room plugin. It creates a simulated 3D mixing space for when you're using headphones, and it makes mixing on headphones a whole lot better. And not only can you do stereo mixing on it, it also has a surround sound component. NX is only used um, while you're doing your mix. You have to turn it off before you bounce or it will make the audio sound very strange, but it, it's it's there as, as a monitoring aid uh, more than anything else. So um, let me open it up. There's NX, and here's the plugin, and you're going to see the head tracking opening right there. This is uh, uh, using the webcam on my laptop, on my MacBook Pro, and it's tracking the movements of my head. As you can see, there's a, a little head diagram over here. Um, these are virtual speakers, but right now there, you see all these real-time displays as I move, they change. Um, it's tracking at 12.4 frames per second, which is too slow. It needs to be between 25 and 30 for this to work correctly. And um, according to Waves, if you have a MacBook, um, you need to use what's called low light mode, even though as you can see there's a fair bit of light in this room. Um, for MacBooks, for some reason, low light mode is necessary. So I just press the L key, select here and press the L key. And now you'll see it's going to darken a little and now we're getting much better tracking. So, okay, let's look at the GUI. And as you can see around my face, it creates this sort of 3D box uh, in the image there. So let's, uh, let's look at the GUI now. I'm going to move this to the middle. So there you see I'm moving my head and it's the head in here is following the movements. And I can click on this button called Sweet Spot to set the sweet spot, uh, to set the center point. I can move the speakers around. I can move them all the way together for mono. I can spread them out 90 degrees in each direction. Go back to the, the uh, default, which is 60 degrees. And I could even rotate the speakers, so I could bring them to the side. I could bring them over to this side. I could put them behind me. And and believe me, I can't. Unfortunately, you can't hear the audio without actually using the plug-in and headphones. But take my word for it that it really does sound like it's moving around like that. It's it's quite cool. They have you measure your head. Um, they give you the instructions in the manual. Uh, and you set up a user default for the, the circumference and this other measurement called the interaural arc for your head, which makes the whole thing work more accurately. And um, you, get, you have input levels show up here, you have output levels here, and you can reduce output if you're getting too much with this slider. Uh, let's see what else. You can add, make the, the virtual room more ambient by turning this up. I haven't, didn't find that to be particularly useful, really. I, I just kept it at the default. So that's the, that's the stereo component. Now there's also a surround component, which I will show you. Okay, so now I have opened a surround session, and you can see that the GUI is different in some ways. For, for example, uh, there's more inputs for the different surround inputs. Um, you can see the surround speakers here. There's the left, the right, the center, the left surround, the right surround. And the LFE, that's for the bass. And there's also an additional control for the room ambience, which lets you cut the center ambience down in case you have dialogue coming through here and you don't want to hear it with that ambience. And uh, just like with the, with the stereo version, you can adjust uh, the positioning of the speakers both in the front and back. And you can rotate the whole thing if you want and keeping your head in the same spot which is which is pretty cool besides that it's pretty much works the same way uh, and it's amazing like you can really hear the sounds behind your head in a way that is just amazing with wearing headphones I mean normally of course if I was really mixing with these I would have my headphones on and uh, but I would still hear stuff all the way around it's 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 pretty amazing the technology in this uh in this plugin so there you go that's uh, waves nx 
This is Mike Levine for Audio Fanzine. Thanks for watching.